Hello everyone, and welcome to the perk analysis series, where I test perks based on their individual ability to benefit the player in the trial. This analysis will be based on three factors. The first factor is how often the perk can activate within a trial. The second is how well the perk performs when activated and how it can help. And the third is how likely is it to activate or get use if the player puts it on for one game. Now for the disclaimers. This series will not be an official tier list or ranking on genuine usefulness of perks at high level. However, with that being said, I will try and evaluate the perks to the best of my ability. I am by no means a top tier survivor, but with almost 3k hours under my belt, and most of my playtime being survivor while running different random perks, I think I have some room to talk about perks and their general use. When discussing perks, I will only be referring to their tier 3 version. And during gameplay, I am allowing myself to run items, add-ons, and offerings. Although I have almost 3k hours, I will also try and note how the perk can have use in low to medium skill levels. For these videos, I will be playing in a Survive with Friends group with my friend Jake. We will be talking about the perk while running it. Our gameplay will not be serious, as we don't take DVD that seriously. There will be misplays, but at the end of the day, we're having fun. And that's what matters. One last disclaimer before we get into this. Since I'm running one perk at a time, the game shown may not provide a full story on the perk's usefulness. I will try and make a case for certain perks that don't reach even close to their full potential without a build. And without further ado, let's get into it. Counterforce is Jill's first perk. Counterforce speeds up totem cleansing speeds while also helping the users detect new totems. By default, Counterforce allows the user to cleanse totems 20% faster. Each subsequent totem will add 20% speed to a totem cleanse action, making it faster. These bonuses are additive, so Counterforce has diminishing returns, but I'll get into that later. When the user cleanses a totem, Counterforce shows the furthest totem's aura to the user for 4 seconds. These two abilities from the perk make it the best perk for getting rid of totems, whether for an archive or just to burn the killer's totems preferably hexes. Counterforce does not increase blessing speed, and on that note, is not the best perk to run with boons or even in a team with teammates who are running boons. The totem cleanse speed increase is probably the most unique and sought after part of this perk. Caps detect its hunch, small game, and maps can detect totems, but nothing directly speeds up totems. Sure, Rebecca's better than new and Dwight's leader can affect other survivors' totem cleansing speeds, but nothing affects the user's own speed, other than Calm Spirit, of course, which is an unnecessary slowdown to the already pretty slow totem cleansing speeds. Each time the user cleanses a totem, they save some more time on their next totem cleanse. The usual time it takes to cleanse a totem is 14 seconds. Counterforce makes it so that the first totem cleanse in a match will only take 11.66 seconds. The second totem will take 10 seconds, and if you are able to cleanse 3 more totems with Counterforce, you will cleanse totems in 7 seconds. As I said earlier, Counterforce has diminishing returns. If the killer is running Hex Pentimento, Counterforce can stack up to 200% bonus cleansing speed. Pentimento totems do still count towards Counterforce, therefore making this actually possible. So if you are lucky enough to remove 10 totems all by yourself when the killer is running Hex Pentimento, then the last totem will be cleansed in 4.66 seconds. But the main question, is Counterforce good? Well, it can be. By itself, it's only really good if you are running it against a killer who has a totem build. Using one perk to essentially remove a killer's build and all of their perks can be worth it. But this isn't really reliable. Totem builds do exist, but they aren't super common. If the killer isn't even running one totem perk, Counterforce by itself is useless. Counterforce, however, is a perk that goes really well with builds and can support other perks. It's only really useful in a build to support other perks and not the other way around. Inner Healing, Hattie's Overzealous, and Michaela's Clairvoyance all require totems to activate. So if the user is able to remember totem locations shown by Counterforce, they will be able to use their choice of totem perk hand-in-hand -hand with Counterforce 
in order to reliably get more activations of said perk. Counterforce can be used to help find totems to bless, but this does remove totems in the process, so just be wary of this. Thanks for watching, and as usual, stay tuned for more of this series coming out later. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and all that. Have a good one. Oh no. Is that Oni? Yeah, that's Oni. Hoggies. Except Bill gave him half of his power. God damn it, Bill. Goodbye, Billiam. Mm, I should look for totems. Yes, sir. There's footage. Time to get off no, of the no, no. Have fun, Meg. So, you've either already heard this or you already know it, but small game plus counterforce is good because you can find totems in the beginning super easy. In the beginning. I played that wrong. I didn't necessarily, but I did burn through a pallet. I also messed that up. Tree! Uh oh. Uh, now we'll feel bad for running this perk because someone has a boon. <laughs> and he's gonna get power soon. Which rhymes with boon. He already does have power. Don't worry. <laughs> Two gens before you're hooked. Let's go. Yeah! Three gens? Not asking for too much. <laughs> I'm getting greedy now. Uh, he appears to be heading... Here? He's hitting Shaq. He, he oh, has down Shaq. Hiding. He's coming to you. Oh, huh? That was a good charge. I have never seen that motion before, but that was, he like looked like he was going towards the gen I was on, but he like drifted and like turned at the last second. It's like, hello, bam. Uh, like, oh, I'll be able to run around him. Uh, that was not the case. Uh, uh, He's going across map, cool. So I know there's a totem over here, but I kind of don't want to cleanse it because someone's running boons. And so this perk doesn't need a build to be ran, but it definitely benefits other builds. I could have taken that hit and I am. Let's go. I found a totem. <laughs> Rip it on. Come on, Bill, 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 Bill. Bill, 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 Bill. Bill, not. Uh, excuse me. Cut that. That's that's copyrighted material. I'm just sing the Chinese version. Beer, 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 beer. I should probably cut that here. <laughs> My favorite pregame song. I don't think it's cut. Are they throwing hook? I can do it, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. I'm, I'm on my way over to them. So, if you want people to not throw hooks in your game, you do this. You keep them in the game, and you prevent them from throwing the hook. <laughs> uh -huh. Reassurance isn't out yet, so I get to do this. If you're staying in the game, you could play. <laughs> you clicked play, you decided to do this. You can't just quit when something's not going right for you, buddy. And now they're just gonna stand there. Oh, they're teammates. But you threw the game. This was your fault! You did this to yourself! I don't know if I want the killer to channel them or not. I am. I am at odds. Even though we can still win this game. Yep, they're just like, I'm gonna throw hook. And hey, I'm just like, I'm gonna, gonna be him the hell out of him. <laughs> if you click play, you should play the game. Oh no, go dead. He tried. 
try. I mean, the Meg did try. The pro of the game. Yes. Like, before the first hook, we had two gens done. And they weren't gonna three gen us. And then Meg is no. like, oh, I got hooked once. Therefore, I need to throw. I don't understand DVD players. That was a whole hook state that she wasted. That we definitely could have got. If we were doing like one and a half gens per hook state, we would have definitely been fine. Yeah. Yeah, she's running off the record, dead hard and unbreakable. She she doesn't want to, you know, do anything that results in you know playing the game and negative thing ha negative things happening to her. But now she's actually playing the game, which is very weird to me. How when people are on the hook, they're just like, I don't want to play anymore. This but when is they're boring. True. Yeah. They do yeah, have a but... point. They should, you know, yeah. make the game more interesting instead of, you know, just having times where the survivor does literally nothing. Yeah, but um, to be fair, though. It, it gives you some downtime, you know, you're, you're able to just kind of hang out, except you do have to hit skill checks afterwards, but... I don't understand, like, why she's like, I want to rage quit. And then, you know, actually starts playing the game and looping around instead of just standing still and dying, like... And then teabagging you and all that kind of stuff. I mean, the teabagging makes sense and it's kind of justified, but like... Okay, fair. <laughs> Did we three gen ourselves now? Uh, maybe. No. No. Gen, gen over there. Sorry. Yeah. You more. <laughs> Deserved. Well done. I didn't even see that pallet, to be honest. Wait, so then I hit escape and I hit quit. Yeah, and then you lose all your blood points in the process. <laughs> even though you made a decision to click Q and play the game. That's why Bill is playing like this. Sprint burst and self-aware. I don't understand people just trying to fucking throw the game. I never did, never will. And nope. just the fact that she kept on playing afterwards is just so weird. Like, maybe it's like, hey, this person's being a dick, because probably I am being a dick. Might as well play. Or maybe they're just... I'm giving her a lot of credit. Yeah, I... I just, I just want to figure out what, what went through their thought process. I just wish to talk to them. <laughs> just add them on Steam. Like, are you the person who... Yes, are you the person who tried to throw the hook? <laughs> Jake. Uh, He's over here! Yeah. Oh, she's coming. There she be! Oh, of course. Hello. Goodbye. I'm gonna find totems. I don't Probably need to feel bad about booting anymore. Plus, there was only one boon last game. <laughs> it was. Fair. So, what I said last match about small game, it's only useful for finding the first totem or if you forget. So, like... It's like... You can run it... You can run both these perks together, but also you don't need to, and sometimes it makes it, you know, worse to run both of them. We're, hey, a totem right next to a gen. Convenient. But the totem speed, it's nice to see the bar yellow for once, and also, you know, faster. Or twice. <laughs> I hope she didn't hear that. I guess it's right there. If she has pimento, uh, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, that would be rough. But I think That's with pimento... counter, counter force. <laughs> I... Th oh, my God. 
Yeah, there you go. <laughs> no, 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 I'm cleansing a fucking toad! You bitch! When will you learn? But it could also counter Pimento. No, no, it's mine. Thank you. It could also counter Pimento. As, dude, this is so fast. 40%. Starstruck. Good thing I'm just doing nothing and cleansing totems. Uh. Fucking ten second totem. Why didn't this does not work with blessing totems, by the way. It does not increase the speed. But it does tell you where totems are to bless. Oh. And it can let you know if the totem you cleanse is the last one if you don't see any more totems on the map. Uh, there's a totem in basement if you want. <laughs> I might get it though, because I'm not being chased anymore. I'm being chased. That was just a lie. Maybe I'm not. No, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. I tried to take the hit, and it did not work. As Meg knows now, and probably hates me. Okay, the sort of might be in the middle. Too lazy to look for it unless she has no head. Oh, Starstruck. Oh, Starstruck. Please don't send burns this way. Oh, she's going to. Um, oh, I love that fur. <laughs> Bird Perkinson. No, the one where when you get off the jet. It Blocks it. Ah, I mean, it makes sense that artist is the one running. It. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'm gonna go to get safe. Yeah, probably smart. She's uh, burning safe. You uh, know that now. Yeah. Sprinto bird set. I still want to get that totem in basement. Uh. Oh yeah, but by itself, it's not that great because it highly benefits for synergies or for like an archive. Ah yes, bird. She doesn't kick gens. I'm so thankful. <clears throat> Left side of screen also, of the four hooks, uh, I was only one of them. And I was the only other one of them. <laughs> well, time to be the fifth hook. <laughs> or it's not. Since you're only on first stage. Yeah. I I was the, the fourth hook because the other person got hooked three times. Right. Yeah. Right. Math. That's how the game works. Math. My bad. I am fucked. Right. I always forget that it's if it's in the open, you take a hit. Because right. I have played too many artists. Yes. I always forget that it's like whenever you come near them while they're holding a person, not just like when they pick people up. Mm-hmm. Felix is coming at me. I'm scared. We're I'm... good. We're fine. Of course. Of course. Why, why Why? would she go for the person she's already chasing? Okay, at least I'm not <laughs> I can still 
do fast totem. I'm happy. Yes. Is she? She's off you, right? Yeah, she's off me. Well, kind of. Yeah. Eh, well, of. she's on me. Yeah, she's off me. I'm on a, I'm on a pallet downstairs. <laughs> Man, why could it not... Or why did it have to be a totem that I physically couldn't reach? I think. I'm right, trying again. Fuck me. Just hide. I... Oh, now she's going to know I was here. Oh, because... Well, I mean, I got to cleanse totems fans. Ha ha. Yeah, counterforce is. It's not that it's bad on its own. It's that it's kind of like why would you run it on its own? Unless if you're doing a series like us. Ha ha. Quirky. It's a perk that benefits other perks and synergies a pretty decent amount, but it isn't necessarily good just by itself. By itself, you know, it can work just fine, but it it just works better with stuff. It's a it's a help rather than a you know a thing that you run on its own. It's always just gonna be a perk that's secondary to another perk or to an archive. You know, j just depends on what you're doing.